cameras with full-frame sensors are about as good as it gets for pure photo quality other than medium format rigs for pros, yet even though they're all good to some degree, or better yet great, some are better than others. The long-awaited, the company's first first full-frame, 35mm, DSLR, bridges a gap in the Pentax lineup between the APS-C DSLR and medium format cameras, and carries a decent price tag, $1.949, body only, sure, it can capture great quality photographs, but times are changing, and modern camera makers have innovated to push the envelope. Can the K1 stand up to the competition? One of the key reasons this camera is creating so much interest, at least among the many Pentax fans, is a huge full-frame imaging device. All of the majors have been playing in this field for years including the 50, 6MPU, 36MPU and 42MP. Now, at last, Pentax has entered the arena with a Sony-made 36. 4MP full-frame sensor and found its camera immediately back-ordered. Do not to pent up demand from Pentax owners but an earthquake caused shortage of Sony image. Sensors, the jam is loosening at last. And more high-end cameras from other brands featuring this chip and APS-C variations are arriving. As the Sony plant gears up. That said, don't expect any sort of discount for this one at least not in the near future. Beyond the chip and Prime IV processor, the Pentax K1 is a beefy, weather-resistant DSLR that's built like the proverbial tank. The all-black camera has a full leather coating and a substantial grip. You should expect nothing less of a camera that weighs almost 2 pounds. 35, 6 ounces with just the battery and card. Add one of the many full-frame lenses available, such as the 28 to 105 mm f3, 5 to 5, 6 inches.